molecular characterizations of these symbionts, which have not yet been cultured, unless we get Kelly to culture them. <laughs> um, and uh, secondarily, well, there's other interests with cores. I'll let you talk about the uh, sediment cores. We're interested in this, uh, the stable nitrogen isotopes of the ammonium in the pore water in particular because the muscles of the tube worms and vent animals and symbiotic animals in general are extremely depleted when it comes to N15. And the question is, what is their nitrogen source? So that's one of the other things that we're particularly interested in getting at. And I have um, the, the com almost the complete file of papers on the Florida escarpment uh, here, which I can, if anyone wants to look, I'll put them down in the main lab. But I need them, I need them not to go away too far because I keep using them. Um, and there's a couple of new ones from uh, from Chris Martin's 1991. I just don't see this journal. What is it? Geology. <laughs> um, so anyway, this gives there's a nice overview by Barbara Hecker on all of the animals mm -hmm. uh, here at the vents and a lot on the chemistry and our one paper on the, the symbiosis. I'm Nancy Gift. Um, I'm calling personal lab slave. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy is really wonderful. The, the, we would not be packed if it was not for Nancy. She does everything. I'm running the lab next year. Yes. <laughs> and, and on my own, I, I'm working on Mount Laurel uh, phylogeny and which is a little unrelated, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> fixing animals for doing insight hybridizations when we get back to find out if the 16S from or the genes that we've cloned actually come from <laughs> I'm convinced. I'm more convinced, I have to say. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> no, 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 I meant, no, no, no. Display of confidence. No, no. <laughs> I meant from all our arguments about what constitutes proof versus when you just PCR it. Right. So. No, I <laughs> so that's a story. It's an amazing story. I, someday we should tell give more details. <laughs> we has been. A seminar later. That's right. We'll have a seminar for those interested later. <coughs> um, my name is Henry Lee. I'm an undergraduate at Harvard also. And uh, I've been looking at Collins Lab since <laughs> Henry, tell us about the Mid-Atlantic Ridge whistle. Um, it's another thylotrophic symbiont in the muscle. And, um, I've been characterizing the 16S DNA in this past semester against uh, tutelage. And I um, don't, haven't determined yet what, what it is. But I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, you do have an assignment. You're with Dan. Yeah. And don't forget, <laughs> bitter wars over who got who. It was, <laughs> and I claim the answer. <laughs> My name is Francesca Gian Cristofa. I um, just started working at Texas A&M uh, in February as a physical oceanographer. I'm involved in a four-year project uh, studying the hydrography of the Gulf of Mexico. I'm here for the ride. And <laughs> learning something now. Right. So, so we had something for you to <laughs> In particular, we were going to ask you to be in charge of the Niskin bottles and the water mm -hmm. samples. So mm -hmm. we'll we have to find those little cube containers. Mm -hmm. General. My name is Joachim Kuhn. I'm a graduate student at Stanford. But I used to do it some time ago. <laughs> Immunocytochemistry, chemistry, it's you and depending on how much running around I have to do. 
I'm the total of us. We're going to be getting samples for immunocytochemical detection of enzymes. And the difficulty with this procedure is you can't fix things and leave them in fixative or in buffer. You have to fix them, dehydrate them, and embed them immediately. So that's what we're doing here. Which is a lot of fun to do at sea. That's the other fun out. <laughs> <laughs> Sound for you in two ways. 